Hey guys, welcome to Freshers Camp. So we are back with another part of allegation and mixture today. Before moving on to the questions, let me tell you about our channel. We provide regular updates on government jobs, technical, non-technical and all other type of job opportunities as well as preparation material for campus placements and government jobs. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe the channel. Also hit the bell icon for daily updates. So this problem was given in part 1 as the homework problem. T worth rupees 126 per kilogram and rupees 135 per kilogram are mixed with a third party, third variety in the ratio 1, ratio 1, ratio 2. If the mixture is worth rupees 153 per kg, the price of third variety per kg would be. Okay. So the answer is option C. Now let's see how. Since first and second proportion varieties are mixed in equal proportion, so their average price would be 126 plus 135 divided by 2, which is rupees 130. So the mixture is formed by mixing two varieties, one at rupees 130.50 and the other at let's say x in the ratio 2 ratio 2 or 1 ratio 1. So we have to calculate x. So what we'll do is we will apply the rule of allegation here. We have cost of 1 kg of first kind, cost of 1 kg T of second kind. So if you have seen part first, you know that what was the rule of allegation? The uh, price of dearer and cheaper were formed in a diagram like that. So mean price is in the middle. And here and this side, this is CP of cheaper and this is CP of dearer. We just put on the values and we solve it. So it is X minus 153 divided by 22.50 equals to 1. Once you solve it, you get it equals to X equals to 175.50, which is your answer. So if you are getting confused here, I'll just show you the rule of allegation. So you can see this was the rule of allegation, which we will follow in almost all the questions. Remember this or you can note it down because this is very important rule and will be focused in the questions. So moving on to further questions. A milk vendor has two cans of milk. The first contain 25% water and the rest milk. The second contain 50% water. How much milk should he mix from each of the containers so as to get 12 liters of milk? So I'll start the ratio water to milk is 3 ratio 5. So we'll consider let the cost of 1 liter milk be rupees 1. Now milk in 1 liter mix in first can is 3 by 4 liter and CP of 1 liter mix in 1 can is rupees 3 by 4. Milk in first liter and second can is 1 by 3 liter. Similarly the CP for second can would be 1 by 2. Milk in 1 liter for final mix is 5 by 8 and similarly the main price is 5 by 8. Now by the rule of allegation we have CP of 1 liter mixture in first can and CP of 1 liter mixture in second can. We'll form the rule of allegation by this mean price will be always in the middle. So we can calculate the ratio of mixtures from here. That is 1 ratio 1 by 8 ratio 1 by 8. That is 1 ratio 1. So the quantity of mixture taken from each can is 1 by 2 into 12. That is 6 liters. And so the answer is option B here. 6 liters, 6 liters. In what ratio must a grocer mix two varieties of pulses costing rupees 15 and 20 per kg respectively so as to get a mixture worth rupees 16.50? So the same concept will be used to, which was used in before this question, question number 4. By the rule of allegation, cost of 1 kilogram pulses of first kind cost of First kilogram pulses of second kind. Mean price will be in middle 1520, 3.50 and 1.50. So the required rate is 3.50 to 1.50. That is 7 ratio 3. Answer option C. A can contains a mixture of two liquids A and B and the ratio 7 ratio 5. When 9 liters of the mixture are drawn off and the can is filled with B, the ratio of A and B becomes 7 ratio 9. How many liters of liquid A was contained by the can initially? 
Okay, so the answer is option C. Now let's see how. Suppose the can initially contains 7x and 5x of the mixtures of A and B respectively. The quantity of A in mixture left is 7x minus 7 by 12 into 9. So that is 7x minus 21 by 4. Quantity of B is 5x minus 5 by 12 into 9 liters. That is 5x minus 15 by 4. So what you will do is you will simply divide both the quantity of A and B by each other. Once you solve it, you get it as 252x minus 189 equals to 140x plus 147. That is equals to 112x equals to 336 and x equals to 3. So the can contain 21 liters of A. That means quantity A. This is your answer. And by this, the concept of allegation and mixture comes to an end. The problem provided on screen is a homework problem for you guys. Make sure you leave the answer in the comment section. If you have any queries, watch our next video because this will be solved in the next video. Similarly, for all part of aptitude, there is a homework problem at last. And in each last part of the video, there is a practice sheet for you guys. Solve that because that will help you in a lot of aptitude exams. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe the channel. Also hit the bell icon for daily updates. Thank you.